Who could suppose what together we'll find with every pair of shoes that we try? Almost finished. Now a little polish, then these figure skates will be ready for the Olympics. Grandpa! Look at the hat I made for Briona, out of scraps I picked up. <gasps> hey, a tassel! <laughs> That's the perfect finishing touch for Briona's hat. Franny, what a lovely hat you made. But I'm afraid I was using that tassel. But I found it on the floor. That's our rule. Anything I find on the floor, I can keep to make things out of. Yes, anything left on the floor when I'm finished is yours. But I'm still working on these skates, and I just accidentally knocked that tassel on the floor. But Briona needs it. Franny, the tassel matches the one on the other skate. You wouldn't want to be that little girl with two mismatched skates, would you? No. Here, Grandpa. Thank you, Franny. That's very understanding of you. I still say it's unfair. A customer! Good day. How can Fantuzzi Shuri Bear be of service? I've been climbing ladders in my cherry orchard and the bottoms of my boots are getting worn out. I'll put on some firm soles and you'll be back picking cherries in no time. Franny, can you put these into the fix-it box? Sure, Grandpa. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? All those cherry blossoms. These have got to be the most beautiful trees I've ever seen. Except for that one. Zowie, I wonder who did that to that poor tree. Hey, Sandford! Somebody's gawking at our tree! Oh, yeah? Admiring our collection, no doubt. Huh, Grady? Hi, I'm Franny, and I collect all kinds of odds and ends, too. You're a collector? Well, what do you think of this? I made it myself. The cap is from a lemonade bottle, and I punched a hole in it with me beak. Oh, that's nothing! Wait till you see what I've got! <laughs> I've already got two beads on this shoelace. Great way to use a shoelace, Grady. I use them all the time. Ever made a chain made of paper clips? How's that for clever? <laughs> Don't forget who found the bell. But they're my paper clips. <gasps> oh! Oh. Will not! Sanford Grady, wait! Um, I have a question. About your collection. Uh-huh. Huh? Where do you guys find all your things? We're magpies. We're expert scavengers. In fact, we were just about to go on a scavenger hunt in the meadow. Want to come along, Franny? We'll show you how to find treasure. A treasure hunt? Sure. <laughs> hey! What's that 
shiny thing. There's something to add to our collection. Sanford, look out! Grady's coming the other way. Hey, let go of my can. <laughs> What do you mean, your can? Ah! I saw it first. No, you didn't. I did. Hey, Sanford, Grady, stop fighting. You two can share it. Share it? What's she talking about? You can take turns. Sanford can keep it for a while, then Grady. Sounds reasonable. We could give it a try. This tin can is perfect for keeping things in. Well, you'll just have to empty it again. It's my turn to have the can. Hey, my turn wasn't over yet, was it, Franny? Well, it was kind of short. See? Give it back, Grady. It's still my turn! Ooh, my turn! Mine! That's not how taking turns works. Let go! You're scratching it! You let go! Ah! Oops! No! No! Are we going to get our can back? We can't swim! Yeah, we're magpies, not ducks. Can you help us, Franny? I don't know. I can't go into the water without a grown-up watching. But maybe... Maybe we can all work together to get it back. Huh? Oh, work together? Yes. All we need are a couple of things I saw in your collection. We'll get them for you, Franny. That old badminton racket. And that piece of netting. Voila! It's just like a fishnet. That's brilliant, Franny! Come on, Franny! You can do it! <laughs> she did it! She got the can! Hooray! Whose turn is it? Uh, not mine. Not mine either. Now neither one of you wants it. Why not? Well... It was more fun when we were trying to get the can back, together, than when we were fighting over it. I'd rather keep Sanford as my friend than keep the can. Come on, Sanford. I think I have some bottle caps in my nest that you might like. Great. And I have some more beads for you. Thanks for taking me on a scavenger hunt, guys. But I have to get back to my grandpa now. Thanks, Franny! You're welcome. Bye, Franny! Bye, Franny! Bye! That was fantastic! <laughs> A cherry blossom! Like the ones on Sanford and Grady's tree. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoebox. Come on, Briona. Let's go find Grandpa. Franny, I was just looking for you. Me too, Grandpa. I wanted to tell you I'm sorry for being grumpy about the tassel. I'd rather be friends than be selfish, like Sanford and Grady. 
Who and who? Sanford and Grady, they're a couple of magpies. They love collecting things, just like I do. You don't say. Except they started fighting over something they both wanted. Really? What happened? They decided they like sharing and doing things together better than fighting. I'm glad they worked it out. I have something for you. A tassel! <laughs> it only took me a few minutes to make, and I thought Briona might like it for her hat. <laughs> it's perfect, Grandpa. Thank you. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? Millions and millions and millions of snowflakes. <laughs> yes, and no two are the same. Let's go outside and play in the snow now. <laughs> I promise we'll go soon, Franny. But you have to wait until I finish my work. But waiting is boring. Boring? My granddaughter Franny Fantuzzi is bored? Impossible. <laughs> I'm sure you can think of something. Use your imagination. <sighs> A customer! Good morning and welcome. What can we do for you and your shoes on this fine day? Oh, so cold. Must g go on sunny beach vacation. B b b but sandals broken. Not to worry, my frozen friend. We'll have them ready for you tomorrow. Into the fix-a box they go. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? Beach somewhere hot. It's Freddy Van Tootsie with a smile as bright as the big Jamaican sun. I'm in sunny Jamaica. Hi, Johnny. How are you doing? Feeling hot, hot, and hot. And I know why. It is hot. I feel like I'm melting. It is one of the hottest days of the year. Where I live, it's snowing and freezing. Snowing? Now that's something these sweaty eyes would love to see. You've never seen snow? Never. Not even once. But I've always wanted to. I wish I'd brought some with me. But wait! I've seen millions and millions and millions of snowflakes. I can describe it for you. Sit down. Well, I'm not sure it'll work. But we'll give it a shot. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, well, snow is soft and white and c c cold. Can you see it? Sounds nice. Tell me more. It's so cold, you have to wear lots and lots of clothes just to go outside to play, or you'd freeze. Did it work? Can you see it? Almost. What does it sound like? Nothing. It's as quiet as can be. Ah, yes. You see it? Yes. Big round quiet snowballs falling from space. Big round snowballs? Why do you think snow looks like big round snowballs? I once saw a picture of a snowball, but I've never seen a picture of just plain snow. Really? Well then, I'll draw you some snow. I need paper and crayons. Right this way. Okay, let's make you a picture of a real snowstorm, but don't peek. Snow here and there and there and here. Ooh, that's a nice one. And done. So snow is all polka dotted like my sister's bikini? No, no, it's fluffier than that. It covers everything like fluffy ice cream. 
And you can make snowmen out of it. You can? A man made of snow? Imagine that! If we had some snow, we could make one. But all we have is sand. Hmm, that sand castle gives me an idea. I can show you what a snowman looks like. You can? Uh-huh. There, all done. So this is what a snowman looks like? Except a snowman would be made out of snow, so it would be white. And the eyes would be buttons instead of seashells. And it would feel very cold and icy when you touch it. And it would melt in the hot sun. Hmm, piffle. I guess this isn't very much like a snowman after all. Well, it sure is a good sandman. Don't feel bad, Franny. How can you show me what snow is like in a place where there's no snow? Hmm, there must be a way. I've got it. I can't show you real snow, but I can show you what snow looks like and feels like. I can even show you what it's like to be in a snowstorm. You can? Absolutely. Come with me. First, I'll show you what snow looks like. We made snowflakes in school. You have to fold the paper in halves. Like this, and this, and this. Then you use the scissors to cut out sections. You have to be very careful. It seems very complicated. It's not really. Then you just open it up, and presto! Wow! It sure is pretty, and it sure has a lot of holes. Well, that's what snow looks like. All these pretty snowflakes falling from the sky. It's even bigger than snowballs. This snowflake is so big, it's gonna crush me. <laughs> snowflakes are much smaller in real life. They're teeny tiny, and they're icy cold. I see cool teeny tiny snowflakes. I think I'm getting the idea. Now I'm going to show you what snow feels like. <laughs> Why are we sticking our heads in the freezer? You'll see. Stick your tongue out. Hmm. Cold. <laughs> exactly. Snow is icy cold. Now we'll have our very own snowstorm. Come on! For a hot day, you're sure making me run around a lot. We need some snowflakes. I've been coming to this market since I was a baby, and I never ever saw even one snowflake. Aha! But we only need something that looks like snowflakes. Something light and small and snowflake-shaped. But I don't see anything like that. All I see is coconuts and coconut drinks and coconut candies and coconut flakes. Perfect! Back to the beach. Okay, good. Now stand here and close your eyes. <laughs> here we go. Ready? Open your eyes, Johnny. Ready, Freddy! Whoopee! It's snowing! It's snowing! <laughs> Franny, I didn't know snow tasted so yum yum yummy. Look! Now it looks like a real snowman. You did it, Franny Van Tootsie. You showed me snow. This has been so much fun. How can I thank you? I know. Would you like to ride on my surfboard? I'd love to, but I have to get going now. My grandpa would be wondering where I am. Well, thanks again for calling me down. Come back soon, okay? Bye, Franny. Goodbye, Johnny. Frosty Flakes! That was fantastic! <laughs> A paper snowflake! 
just like the one I made to show Johnny. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoebox. I'm done work for today, Franny. We can go outside and play now. I've already been out in the snow, Grandpa, with Johnny. You have? Who's Johnny? A boy from Jamaica. He'd never seen snow before, so I helped him have his very own snowstorm. Only we didn't have any snow. No snow? How did you have a snowstorm with no snow? Easy. We used our imaginations. Luckily, we had plenty of that. <laughs> you sure do, <laughs> Franny. You sure do. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs>